So today I'm going to use my Xbox One controller and I'm going to have a wired connection between that I'm going to use this uh, USB cable, so it's USB on one end, uh, micro USB on the other and I'm going to connect this to my Surface Pro 4 and uh, see how easy it is to configure it to work with the uh, tablet and then I'm going to run a game and see how well that works. So first off, now this already comes pre-installed with Windows 10 so you just take this off its charging base and I'll just charging it. Now what I like about this the uh, Xbox One controller, um, you know, you have your you know, ABXY buttons, you have some function keys here in the middle, you have your customary D-pad, and then you have your analog uh, controllers, and uh, your trigger buttons, and the shoulder buttons are two on each side, um, and then there's a pairing button here, uh, but for this exercise I'm going to have a wired connection, so that really is not necessary, and then you have our uh, micro USB port there, and then your battery. Um, all in all, you know, anybody who's familiar with the Xbox line of controllers, um, it's just you know, an, an evolved version of the Xbox 360 controller. So, now, for the record, I've done installed no software on this, no drivers, just uh, pretty much taken it out of the box, and I'm talking about the Surface Pro 4, I turned it on, uh, you know, and uh, I'll put my name in it and whatnot, but I have not added any, any new software. So let me just connect my micro USB the top of the controller there. You can rest over there for now. Then we connect this into the let's see what happens. Okay so this lights up. So I guess they're talking to each other. Settings, let's go to devices. Let's go to connected devices. And right here you see controller. So I'm assuming, you know, due to the ingenious uh, thing called Windows 10, Windows 10 Pro, I should be able to run a game and it should detect this automatically. So let's uh, run Grid. You can actually um, get games like Grid or, or PC games from the uh, Steam network, S-T-E-A-M. Um, it's like a one-stop shop for all PC games. So again, I just connected this via the USB cable to the, uh, to the to the Pro 4. So the Xbox One controller connected to the Pro 4 with the cable. I did no configuration. I installed no drivers. Now this flashed, the logo flashed here for a bit, and then it went solid, meaning that I'm sure it means it's connected. So now I'm opening one of my driving games here. Now let's see if it works. So I just press the button, and it seems to be working. Let's see here. Press enter. And there you go, it seems to be working. You can get a better view there. Yeah, see? So I did no uh, installation of any software. I just connected the Xbox One controller with a wire to the Surface Pro 4. I opened one of my PC games and we have instant connectivity. So thank you Windows 10 Pro. So let's uh, start a race. Uh, let's see, Nissan Skyline please. And let's, let's do one lap. Ah, okay, two laps. Good. And then what I like about this as well, it actually maps. So there's A for select, B for back. So even within the game itself, the, the menu items automatically uh, align with what's on the controller. And that is cool. So, go to race. Yeah, just let you know my my racing sucks. I'm more used to racing with a with a wheel. I just wanted to show how easy it was to, to, to connect the two. 
Oh, so the trigger button is my throttle. And my left analog stick is my steering. Now what I like about the trigger buttons, they're analog too, right? So you can you you can realistically mimic a real live um, accelerator. It's not digital, like one it's not like full throttle or no, or no throttle at all. You can actually control your throttle. And here I am cr crashing into everyone. Right, let me just concentrate here for a bit. Oh, look at that damage! Nice! I think I'm on three wheels now. Okay, I want to restart. 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 Yes. So for those of you who are just joining this video, I'm just playing um, a really, really nice racing game. Uh, it's a PC game. You can download it, for, download it from the Steam Network, and it's called Grid. And um, I got tired of using the keyboard, so I just got my Xbox One controller and I used a simple USB cable. Now make sure that the USB cable is not just a charging cable. Make sure it's a USB cable that also has um, control lines. Um, and you know, the easiest way to do that, just connect it, connect it into the USB port in your, um, the micro USB port in your controller. And then the other end is just a basic USB uh, plug that plugs into the side of your Service Pro 4, inside the USB 3.0 port. And you should automatically in a reverse. Oh, nice. And then you, there's no configuration needed. Windows 10 that's already pre-installed on the 4 uh, automatically um, installs the drivers for the controller and you have instant gameplay. And as you can see, what I love about this game is that the damage is realistic, the physics are realistic, and uh, I believe this game has been around for a while. But the fact that you know back in the old days you had to have back in the old days you had to have some um, pretty heavy heavy uh, horsepower on a desktop to, to play these things, but now you can you know it's portable now thanks to uh, where technology has taken us today. Anyway, enough talking. Let me see if I can get back in the race. I doubt I'm far behind here. Nice. Nice. Kids, don't do this at home. Drifting there. Well, I just damaged my hundred thousand dollar skyline. Or oh, two laps. Let me just make some donuts. Anyway, guys, I just wanted to give you a. An example of you know how easy it is to configure the um, you know the Xbox One controller for to the Surface Pro 4. Uh, you just need a cable. So in uh, I'm going to do another video where you can connect this wirelessly to your PC, and I'm going to use the Surface Pro 4 uh, as an example. Um, what you need actually is a small dongle that you can connect into your, your USB port of the PC, and you can then connect wirelessly. So um, I'll show you how to do that. So. You can, if you want to get yourself a uh, Xbox One controller, I have a link at the bottom of this page, as well as the links for the Surface Pro uh, tablet, which comes with the stylus and the keyboard. And I will also look for there should also be a link at the bottom where you can buy the this game as well uh, for your PC if you're a PC owner. So okay, so I'm signing off from Ricky's Gaming Gadgets and Gizmos. Later, bye bye.